All right, so from A Nightmare on Elm Street, this is Freddy Krueger. Again, does not say Freddy Krueger anywhere on the front of the box. And, and as I forgot to just tell you, it's made by who else? Marty Abrams presents Mego, 8-inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. Do not forget, um, this one happens to be ages 8 and up. Um, last week we looked at Leatherface, which was ages 17 and up. I don't know what the 9-year fucking leap uh, constituted, because this is a little bit older than that Leatherface figure. This is from, I believe, last year, from 2019, I think so. Uh, again, number 660 uh, out of, I don't know, a jillion. They made a lot of these, but they go for so much more money online. I actually found this in the store, so good for me. And there he is. It's Freddy fucking Krueger. And he looks pretty good in the box. And since I was so impressed with the, the Leatherface figure, I'm not going to try to talk too much shit before I open it up. You know what? I'm going to see what we what it looks like when we open it up. But let's look at the back of the box first. Hey, we have a picture of Robert England, um, not a fucking Rorschach burn victim from the remake of uh, goddamn Nightmare on Elm Street. We, we do have the return of the uh, Marty Agr Abrams Presents Mego Trivia. Uh, trivia in the, the, the rainbow Mego font. Uh, what is Freddy Krueger afraid of? Uh, the answer, of course, is fire because he was burned uh, by fire. Um, more importantly, we have our giant blurb with our good friend fucking Mego Marty right down here in the corner. And there he is. <laughs> Anyway, um, we have the Freddy Krueger logo there uh, in the, the corner of the photo for some fucking reason. Um, it seems like they were trying to fill up space back here and could not cut it. But so far, good sculpt, good looking um, fucking figure in the box. But let's see what he looks like out of the box. Alright, here is uh, Freddy Krueger out of the box, um, and as you can see, he's not bad. He's not really bad at all. He's got the sweater, he's got the fedora, um, which looks great on this sculpt. And man, if this doesn't look like fucking Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger, I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but god damn it, this thing is fucking awesome in real life. It is very, very cool. Um, one little gripe, um, his, his claw, hand, his hand blades, finger blades, um, they're made out of this soft plastic um, and they get, they get kind of bent up in the package. So they look like, like fucked out gray fingernails. Um, so th there is one minus there. It is kind of cool looking. It would have been nice to do the, the, the vac seal or whatever chrome on it to make it look like metal, like you did with the uh, the rivets here, um, at least. So it looks like it was possible uh, to get that sort of chromey silver look, um, but you, I don't know, they, they, they failed a little bit there. Um, that would have been nice. Um, the other hand is actually all burned up. It's not just a regular white Mego hand. Um, he doesn't have the point of articulation on the wrist, um, really. He doesn't really swivel it. He can kind of go, uh, hello, I'm very weak, oh. Um, he does that, and, uh, and then underneath, you can take a look at the, uh, the, the detail. Very, very fucking cool. This is detail that you would expect out of a NECA figure. Um, but you're not gonna pay those NECA scalpy prices, well, I guess maybe you are now that these Mego figures have become more popular, um, but if you were able to find this thing at retail, it was only $12.99, and for $12.99, not a bad figure at all. He poses very well. He looks very cool. 
Um, it's Freddy Krueger. I don't know what else I can fucking say about this thing, but I actually like it. Good job. Good job, new Migo. You made another one um, that's, that's going on the shelf proudly.